So we got Trent Grisham. He's the first player revealed today for the team Affinity Set 42, Santiago Padres, Santiago, god damn, San Diego Padres team affinity card. So we're gonna go ahead, take an instant look into MLB The Show 20 and compare him to his live series card. Why do we use live series instead of the diamond cards that they have inside the game? Well, I think live series will be a more accurate representation of how the card is going to look as an 85 overall diamond, as they are not going to be giving them rookie year sets or breakout sets, etc. like that. I believe they're just gonna see how they perform as a live series card and then predict what they would be if they were a diamond. So instantly, we're gonna go ahead and enter the PS5. So looking at the PS5, and will be the Show 20 Live Series card, Trent Grisham, before anything, says to hit that red subscribe button, join the Loyalty Kingdom, where we spell loyalty as an L-Y-L-T. Hit that red subscribe button, which I already said, but I meant to say, hit that notification bell. Follow me on all my socials. Click on the channel, more Blade Mist. Check out my reaction to my variety gaming channel that will be starting up very soon in terms of variety gaming. Reactions, I already do them. Now, Trent Grisham, it looks like he's going to be a platoon hitter. He's going to be great against righties, and he's going to be good against lefties. Not good enough, but good, which is definitely something you want because I say if he replicates any player as a starter diamond, it's most likely going to be someone like King Griffey Jr. without the same arm as King Griffey Jr. He's going to have good enough fielding, and he's going to have great speed, which are all pluses for somebody playing center field. Now, the only way you don't take Trent Grisham, in my personal opinion, is if you get yourself King Griffey Jr. from the five legends or 10 total legends starter diamond packs, which they are going to be, re be revealing five more today. They might be either A, uploaded after this video or before this video, because today we're doing a whole new rubric to uploading these team affinity reveals we're doing instant showing the card and then going into MLB the show 20 per card instead of showing all three and then going into MLB the show 20 for all three so we can't rank Trent Grisham just yet we gotta wait till the next two come out so stay tuned now for this release right here of the team affinity card we got ourselves Salvador Perez and the first thing I want you all to look like or look at not look like is it's an 88 overall so it looks like the team affinity cards are not going to be base 85 to 87 it looks like they're going to be juiced probably from 87 to 89 overall excuse that you know ring right there that was my mother's phone that's why i looked that way i was like damn you know i'm recording you ain't even turned the sound down or whatever but one thing that I do want to say is you look at the attributes and you say to yourself, wow, are we going back to the 100 power, 100 this, that, and the third instead of 125? I do not think that's the case because someone tweeted that out and then Fuzzy said that it was not true. So I'm going off of Fuzzy's word since he most likely has some inside information. But just looking at this Salvador Perez, we don't have, even have to go into MLB The Show 20 to look at at what the attributes would most likely look like it's gonna be juiced he's gonna have enough power to hit a home run against both sides the contact is more than good enough to start i'm gonna be the show 21 with the vision is amazing it's gonna help your play coverage indicator or pci however you call it discipline doesn't matter anymore because check swings are based off of user input arm strength is good enough fielding is good enough blocking is good enough and another thing is Everybody usually likes making their cap a catcher to start off the game, but with Salvador Perez looking like this, it's even got me second guessing whether I want to put my cap at the shortstop position or whether I want to go ahead and put my cap at the second base position. Let's go ahead and wait for the final one to be released today, which I believe is going to be exciting for sure, especially if they get another content creator to go ahead and drop one. Stay tuned. Now the next reveal we got for us is Dansby Swanson. Now, if he's anything like Salvador Perez in terms of attributes, I can say that this is going to be another scary shortstop. Why, you might be asking. Well, Dansby Swanson, he has that swing that Corey Seager had in MLB The Show, I believe it was 17, where it's just a flat swing, compact, right through the zone. He has the same swing that Carlos Correa has in the game, which is just a quick, fast swing right through the zone. And if he has that swing and is 
attributes are anywhere near Salvador Perez's, which I know he's going to have most likely good fielding, he's going to have good speed, he's going to have good power and good enough contact, he's going to be balanced all around. I'm going to tell you right now that this is going to be a guy that you might consider putting at short. Now, I'm also very interested because Shelfie put out a tweet that he has something very interesting or a very interesting tweet coming up, and I have a feeling that we might be getting ourselves Didi Gregorius at short. And if we get ourselves Didi Gregorius at short, you can basically kiss Dansby Swanson goodbye unless you are an Atlanta Braves fan. Now, before we even do anything, since we don't have his attributes, unlike Salvador Perez's, we're actually gonna hop into MLB The Show 20, and we're gonna take a quick look and see what his numbers would look like, or try to predict what his numbers can look like. So Dansby Swanson, 79 overall silver. Let me change the screens. So as I said, the Dansby Swanson, Lieutenant Dans, whatever you want to call him, he's going to have good numbers. He's not a platoon hitter. He's actually better against righties. But in my opinion, on that Juice Dub Team Affinity card, he's going to have great splits against righties. He's going to have Good enough splits against lefties, probably 60-something power, low 70s, high 60s, and then high 80s, or not high 80s, low 80s, high 70s contact versus left. Gonna have good vision, gonna have good discipline. The fielding is gonna be upgraded, so definitely I'd see silver tier fielding in terms of fielding, and then everything else is gonna get juiced, and the speed is gonna get juiced as well. You're getting yourself a right-handed hitter that has great speed, plays short, most likely gonna be able to play it at a very good level not the greatest but a very good level and then his bat is what is going to speak to you but we got I believe one more reveal if they don't do one more reveal then this is the outro so make sure y'all stay tuned make sure y'all hit that like button red subscribe button turn on the notifications go ahead and click on the channel more blade miss and go subscribe to my other channels click on the community tab interact with me there follow all my socials which are listed above me make sure y'all go ahead and show love to everyone around you you feel me we're gonna end it nice right now but have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed love you all i'll catch you all in the next one peace out